In this video, I'll show you how to make all your views concentric with each other so all the rounded corners fit perfectly together. So satisfying. As you may have gathered from those visuals, concentric corners are where the roundness of the outer view and the roundness of the inner view are consistent and they fit perfectly together versus something like this. Like, yeah, that's, that's not a good look. This is called concentricity and it is a huge design principle in iOS 26 and liquid glass and you'll see it everywhere all over iOS 26, Mac OS 26, like right here, even in Xcode, look at the sidebar, look at those concentric corners. And it's not just the views in your app and the sub views, it actually takes into account the device itself. For example, look at the tab bar on any app in iOS 26. You'll see how it's nicely concentric with the roundness of the device, which blends hardware and software and it's just beautiful. Now, luckily, we don't have to manually do the math to calculate all this roundness. SwiftUI gives us the concentric rectangle API that does all this for us. Let me show you how to use it. To save time in the video, I have already done the very basic SwiftUI layout, but I'll take 30 seconds and run through it real quick so we're on the same page. So overall, we have this Z stack. That is this light gray background you see there over in the preview, which serves as the background. And then on top of that, we have our V stack, which as you can see at the top of the V stack, we have our big black rectangle, 300 by 300. And then we have another V stack for the engaging with Reddit and under the radar text. And then we have a button. And then we have some padding here. And then we have the background that gives it that secondary color. Again, that's super basic Swift UI. What we're gonna run through in this video is I'm gonna use this black rectangle to show you the basics of the concentric rectangle. Eventually we're gonna switch that out for an image and then we'll use a clip shape and also get that concentricity. And then we're gonna adjust our button to make sure our buttons corners are concentric with the outer container. And then I'll show you how to also get this into a sheet that takes up the whole view. Now, if you want the completed source code for this project and every other tutorial I've ever built and every course, or if you're interested in the courses themselves or a consulting call with me, you can check all that out at seanallen.teachable.com. Okay, so looking at our setup, our Z stack is the main container, right? That's that light gray background. So when you're working with a view on a screen and not the entire like screen itself, and you want the sub views of that view to be concentric, well, you gotta, you gotta set the tone. You gotta let the sub views know what they need to be concentric to. So below the background, we'll do dot container shape, and that's going to be a dot rect. And we want the corner radius with the style option as well. So we'll do the corner radius of 34. You can dial this into whatever corner radius you want. That's just the look I liked and then continuous. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. I just like the corners to be continuous. But now you can see over in our preview, the shape of our Z, Z stack, that gray background, now has the nice rounded corners. And like I said, the container shape sets the tone for all the sub views. And because we're using a built-in SwiftUI button, it automatically adapted its corner radius to that. So we have nice concentric corners there already. But let's go up to this black square and let me show you the concentric rectangle API. And it's pretty simple, concentric rectangle. There it is. Now. Look, we're almost there. You can see the top corners are nicely concentric with the light gray outline on the Z stack. However, the bottom corners are sharp. Why didn't it do all four corners? Well, what's going on here is the concentric rectangle will only become concentric if it's close enough to the edge so the concentric corners make sense. Let me change the corner radius to illustrate this. So right now we have a padding of 20 on our V stack as you can see here. So anything under 20 in the corner radius, our shapes won't be close enough to get the concentric corner. So let's say we want a corner radius of 12 on our overall card view, right? The light gray. So see how there's a smaller corner radius, but now look at our button. Because it's not close enough to be concentric, it keeps these sharp edges. Same thing with our black square. The reason it's not close enough again is because padding is 20 and our corner radius is 12. It's not close enough to the corner where concentricity makes sense. So that is one thing to keep in mind with the concentric rectangle. So let's go back to 34 and I'm gonna show you the fix to this. So back up here, again, our top corners looking nice. But if we want our bottom corners, there's an is uniform parameter. Let's get our corners. We want our corners to be dot concentric. And then you can see minimum. So let me actually play with minimum too. We'll say minimum of 12 and then is uniform we'll put false for now we'll come back to is uniform so what minimum of 12 does is if the shape isn't close enough to the corner well we're still gonna have a minimum of 12. let me go back and change the corner radius down here to 14. remember that left everything all squared off well now our black rectangle at least has a minimum of 12. so that way if you have a shape that's not going to be right up against the edge but you want some minimum corner radius that's what minimum will do we're gonna get rid of that and not mess with that for now because i want to talk about is uniform Let's get our corner radius back here down to 34. Again, we got our top corners curved, our bottom corner sharp. Well, is uniform. If you flip that to true, that's going to make all the corners match the concentric radius up there. So now you can see our black rectangle nicely concentric all around. Our button is nicely concentric. And again, the key thing to remember is that in order to get that 
concentricity automatically, you have to be close enough to the edge where it makes sense. Now let's add concentricity to an image with a clip shape. Let's comment out our concentric rectangle for now, and we'll do a SwiftUI image. Now I do have a resource called dot under the radar that is in my assets. You can just grab any square image. I just grabbed this podcast cover, drag it into my project. If you're following along, just grab any square image, Google any podcast asset, drag it into your project. So that's how I got that. And then obviously we want to do dot resizable so it doesn't look ridiculous. Then we want to do a frame, the width and height of 300 by 300 to match what we had there. So great, we have our image, but we don't have the concentric corners around the image. So now we can just do a clip shape. This is the key here. Anytime we can pass in a shape, you can do this to a background, clip shape. You can do dot rect, and then instead of corner radius, where we would pass in a 34, you would try to match it. You can do corners, and again, same thing, is uniform. Again, we want concentric, we want the corners to be concentric. We'll do is uniform false, just to show you how this works. So with is uniform false, cool, our top corners are concentric. Again, remember the bottom corners aren't close enough to the edge where concentricity makes sense. But if you use the is uniform parameter, set it to true, now all of the corners will be the same, they'll be uniform. And now we got some nice concentricity with the image and the button and the background looking great. So that was concentricity within a view. And remember, like our parent view is this Z stack. So in order to set the tone, is how I like to think about it, we had to set the container shape with a corner radius, and now all the sub views will adhere to that. They'll use that as their basis to match their concentricity. But if we don't have a you know parent view, we just wanna use the overall view. Let me show you how to do that by doing a sheet. So we'll do a quick at state private var is showing sheet equals false. And then when the user taps the button, We'll say is showing sheet equals true. This will trigger the sheet to come up. And then now we need a sheet here. So dot sheet is presented in content. So is presented is dollar sign is showing sheet. Now the content will do a simple concentric rectangle and we'll do a fill dot indigo dot gradient just to make it look decent. Put some padding of 20. Now with the sheet, you do need to do ignore safe area to get the proper concentricity. And then we'll do presentation detents of dot medium. So it only goes up like halfway. So now in our preview, when we tap the button, we get that sheet that pops up. And now you can see the concentricity all around the sheet. We didn't have to set a container shape because it uses the overall view as the container. And you see we did padding of 20. Well, if we did padding of four, not 40, four, <laughs> you'll see very, see all that slight padding over there. So that's where the padding comes in. And uh, I see this is, this is not great. You see that bug down there? That's supposed to work. That is a swift UI thing. That is not something we messed up, that uh, concentricity down there. But you're only gonna notice that on smaller paddings there. So that's concentricity in a nutshell. And like I said, it is a huge, design focus for iOS 26 and liquid glass. So now hopefully you have some tools to use it and implement it into your apps.